Today, I want to talk about pancreatic cancer. Pancreatic cancer is becoming more prevalent in recent years. And unfortunately, the prognosis for pancreatic cancer is very poor. And a lot of the reason for that is a lot of times it's diagnosed once it's already reached an advanced stage. Early detection is the key to a successful treatment and prolonged survival. So it's very important to know what are the signs or symptoms of pancreatic cancer. So today I'm going to be talking about seven warning signs for pancreatic cancer that you should be aware of. Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Dr. Jaspreet Singh. So let's get started on the seven warning signs for pancreatic cancer that you should be aware of. Before we go over the warning signs, let me cover just basic anatomy. So the pancreas sits in our upper part of our abdomen, right below the rib cage and behind our stomach. It is an organ that is thin and slender and goes across our abdomen. And because it sits behind the stomach, a lot of times when you have issues with the pancreas, you'll have pain in your abdomen and your back as well. Now there are many different functions for the pancreas. I'm not gonna go over each one of those in this video. I will save that for another video, but let's cover those seven warning signs that you should be aware of. Abdominal pain, pain in your upper abdomen that may also radiate to your back. This pain may not be relieved by any pain medications. The pain is usually described as a dull ache. This particular pain will be worse after eating or lying down. This type of pain could be a sign of pancreatic cancer and the tumor pressing on the nerves or other organs. Jaundice, yellowing of the skin or eyes is a common sign of jaundice, which can happen from accumulation of bilirubin. A blocked bile duct can cause the accumulation of bilirubin, which leads to jaundice and pancreatic cancer can cause this obstruction in the bile ducts. Now the way the pancreatic cancer can cause this obstruction in the bile duct is there's many bile ducts that come from the liver and form into a one common bile duct. This common bile duct will empty into the small intestine. But where it empties into the small intestine is right where the head of the pancreas lies. And there's a pancreatic duct that also empties into this common bile duct as well. So if there's a tumor in the head of the pancreas, it can block this pancreatic duct and the common bile duct, leading to the accumulation of bilirubin and jaundice. If you guys are enjoying this video and want to see more videos just like this, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. It helps the channel grow. Unexplained weight loss. If you are losing weight and you are not trying to lose weight, that could be a sign of pancreatic cancer as well. Weight loss can happen due to loss of appetite, which is another sign of pancreatic cancer. It can also happen from the cancer cells using up the body's energy and nutrients. Loss of appetite. If you're not feeling hungry and you're not sure why, that could also be a sign. Pancreatic cancer can cause pressure on the stomach or change the way your body processes food, which leads to loss of appetite. This will lead to decreased amount of food intake, which will lead to weight loss. New onset diabetes. Pancreatic cancer can cause new onset sudden diabetes in people that have never had this disease before. The pancreas produces insulin, which helps regulate the blood sugar levels in our body. If the tumor in the pancreas is in the region that produces insulin, that can lead to decreased insulin production, lead to higher blood sugar levels and diabetes. Light colored stools. If you're noticing a lighter color in your stools and the stools are becoming greasy, that could also be a sign for pancreatic cancer. And the pancreas also produces digestive enzymes, which helps digest food in the small intestine. If there is a tumor in the head of the pancreas, like I talked about previously, it can block the bile duct and bilirubin going into the small intestine, which in turn makes it harder for the body to digest fats. This will lead to a change of caliber in the stools and the stools will be lighter in color as well. Dark urine. If your urine is turning a lot darker than usual, this could also be a sign. When the pancreatic tumor blocks the bile duct, it leads to accumulation of bilirubin in the body. This in turn leads to jaundice and causes a darker color in your urine because of increased bilirubin levels in your blood. 
Dark urine oftentimes is the first sign of jaundice. It's important to note that these symptoms can be caused by other disease processes as well. So if you're having any of these symptoms, it's important to seek care from your primary care doctor. If you're having a combination of these symptoms rather than just one symptom, that's more likely to point towards pancreatic cancer than if you were just having one symptom. But even if you're having one symptom, it's still best to seek care because early detection is the key to treating this cancer. In addition to these warning signs, there are other risk factors that can increase your risk of pancreatic cancer, such as family history of pancreatic cancer, smoking, obesity, and chronic pancreatitis. I hope this video helps you in determining what are some alarming symptoms where you should seek immediate care for further diagnostic work from your doctor. Like I said before, it's important to seek immediate care to get early detection. Early detection is the key in this disease process. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy.